In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for FeCl3 plus NH4OH. This is iron 3 chloride plus ammonium hydroxide. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. I can see right away I have three hydroxides here and only one here. So I'm going to put a 3 in front of the ammonium hydroxide. Now I have three ammoniums here and just one here. So I'll put a 3 over here. That gives me three ammoniums. Those are balanced, three chlorines. That's good, one iron, one iron. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the states. Chlorides are very soluble, so we're going to put an AQ. That's going to dissolve, dissociate into ions. For the ammonium hydroxide, since we have this ammonium there soluble, we're going to write AQ for that. But then we get to the iron three hydroxide. Hydroxides, unless there's something like sodium or potassium hydroxide, they're usually insoluble. But let's take a look at a solubility chart to make sure. So we find iron 3 right here and across the top, the hydroxides. We go over and down, and that I means that it'll be insoluble. So iron 3 hydroxide, that's going to be a solid. So we'll put a S for solid. So when these two react, this is going to fall to the bottom of the test tube. It'll be a precipitate. Okay. For the ammonium and the chloride, that's going to be soluble aqueous. So we have our states for each substance. Now we can split the strong electrolytes up into their ions, and that's going to give us the complete ionic equation. So the iron, that's a transition metal. We don't know what its charge will be, but we do know that the chlorine, that'll form the 1 minus ion. So since we have three of them, this has to be 3 plus. So we have the iron 3 ion, and I'll write aqueous at the end. Let's not do that now. And then 3 chloride ions. Over here we have the ammonium ion, good one to remember. That whole thing is a 1 plus. The hydroxide, that whole thing is a 1 minus. So we have three ammonium ions and three hydroxide ions. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. In the products, this is a solid. So this iron 3 hydroxide is a solid. We do not split solids apart in net ionic equations. So it's just Fe OH3. Then we have our ammonium and then the chloride. So we have three ammonium ions, just like in the reactants. And then we have three chloride ions, like the reactants. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. Let's see, reactants and products. Here's three chloride ions and in the products. Those are gone. We have three ammonium ions and in the products again, so those are gone. But what's left, that's the net ionic equation for FeCl3 plus NH4OH. I'll clean this up, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for iron 3 chloride plus ammonium hydroxide. If you look at the charge, we have 3 plus here, 3 times the 1 minus. So that gives us a net charge of zero here. And then over here, this is a neutral compound, net charge of zero. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for FeCl3 plus NH4OH. Thanks for watching.